for Thanksgiving holiday today since there will be just only the two of us, Nate and me. Um, so we're gonna do something super delicious but very simple. So let's get started. First, I'm going to make a very quick uh, curry flavor enhancer and you can see just ginger shallots garlic some fish sauce and olive oil inside i'm just going to quickly blend them after you blend them it will be kind of slightly thicker and this will be a base we're gonna create for our dutch oven roasted chicken and i will combine that with this store-bought thai red curry paste to create lovely flavor oh this is our bird this is almost a four pounds um little chicken I lightly season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, both inside and outside. And I think I did an okay job to tie the bird together. I'm going to brown them right now. So I'm sauteing the red curry paste from Thai Kitchen. And now also I added our homemade curry flavor booster. to saute them until fragrant with ghee butter. Oh my goodness, it smells so good here. Add the bird in, it was breast side down first and then I flipped them. So about two to three minutes, three to four minutes per side. But one thing you need to be careful is because the aromatics are at the bottom, so be careful not to burn them. Okay? Just me. Turn off the stove top and add chicken stock, a little bit more of rebel fish sauce, and also one can of full fat coconut cream. And we're gonna send it to the oven to let it slow bake and get in delicious. I want to stress how important it is to remember all the fresh herbs that we made and we sauteed them to bring out more flavor. So just make sure before you send the chicken into the oven, um, make sure you scrape the button a little bit so nothing stick. And I just send it to the oven for 10 for 40 minutes with the lid on and I'm going to show you the further steps to finish cooking. Oh, this is after the first bake, after 40 minutes, I'm going to drizzle some sauce over just to keep the burr, you know, moist. It smells garlicky, it's savory, it smells so good. I'm also going to add some diced carrots. Besides adding carrots um, to my Dutch oven, I wanted to saute all the squash on the side and then when the chicken is down, I'm going to add them back because this will maintain the texture and it's just going to be more yummy. Now this is after second roast the baked simmer. I'm going to drizzle, braise them one more time with more juice. I'm going to send it back to the oven and turn it up to 420 for about 10 minutes. And that's the finishing product. See, I started the veggies, the squash on the side, and I add them back in so they maintain the texture. Sprinkle with a little bit of basil, and this will be my roasted chicken for today. This is the finishing product. Doesn't look too bad, huh? We are ready to eat. I just need to make my triple green kale salad and also roast some butternut squash and we are done.